Hello, kindergarten through second grade students at home. This is Mr. Benzant, your art teacher, and I have a fun little lesson to start us out for the year. Um, currently in school, the classes that are here, we're working on rules and procedures in the art room and basically talking about you know how the art room works and what we do for emergencies, but since you guys are not here to do that with us, I've come up with a couple of simple lessons to start with. Um, and this is the first one. Um, next week we will have you guys on track with the lessons, hopefully, that the kids here at school are doing so everybody will be on the same page. The first part of this lesson is just a simple line review. And for some of you that haven't studied lines, like my kindergarten students, this will be the first time you're hearing about these, or maybe not. Maybe you've heard about these lines before. But there's basically four different line types that we can use to make just about any type of art you can imagine. The first type of line is called a straight line. And we walk in a straight line every day. Straight lines can go any direction. They can go diagonal. They can be vertical, straight up and down. But it's still called a straight line. The next type of line I'm thinking of is a curvy line. And curvy lines don't have any sharp edges. The other type of line we have, kind of like shark's teeth, these are called zigzag lines. And there's one more type of line that we're going to learn about, and these are called loopy lines. Loopy. Now, we are going to use all four line types to draw a picture. I'm going to turn my paper over, <clears throat> and we are going to draw a silly alien creature on our paper. Now I'm going to start with a straight line right in the middle of the page that goes all the way across. And now I'm going to draw a curved line underneath it, like a big upside down U. Actually, this almost looks like an upside down umbrella. Then I'm going to make another curved line on top. This is the top of my alien's head. And we're going to use a zigzag line to make some silly teeth. And it looks like these teeth might be sticking out from the bottom jaw. I can use a curved line to make some eyes. You can have one eye, two eyes, even three eyes. Like I said, this is a silly creature. So I'll put a little dark circle in the middle. That's for the center of the eye. Well, I guess with three eyes, we need three eyebrows. And yeah, we can put some little horns on our guy with the zigzag line. I'm going to put a straight line here and one here. And I'll put two straight lines here. There's one arm. And I can just do a little zigzag line like this for my fingers. We'll put two lines there and a little zigzag line for some silly fingers. And maybe I'll put some stripes on his shirt. There's one stripe two stripes. And now the only line I haven't used is a loopy line. So maybe I will give him a funny little tail using a loopy line. And I'm following around so I have something to color instead of just going right over the line. There we go. There's our silly monster. Once you draw your monster, you can use crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you have to color with, to color. I like to use a lot of bright colors, so I'm probably going to color the stripes maybe red, and then maybe I'll use blue for the other stripes. And then I'll color my monster maybe with some light green and color in the details, but I'm going to leave the teeth and this part of the eyes white. So good luck. I would love to see some of your pictures. If you can send them to me through email at school, I would love to see them and see how you're doing at home. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and I would love to answer those questions for you. Alright, good luck guys. We miss you here at Mason and looking forward to us all getting back together again soon.